This vehicle right here is the brand new Maneuver Short Range Air Defense System and it is lethal. The Maneuver Short Range Air Defense System, or m -Shorad for short, is mounted on the Stryker A1 platform and fills a gap in U.S. Army capability and is designed to protect the maneuvering combat units like Brigade Combat Teams or Stryker Brigade Combat Teams from UAVs, rotary wing, and fixed wing threats. The m -Shorad is armed with two AGM-114L Longbow Hellfire missiles capable of destroying air and ground threats, four Stinger missiles, and the XM914 30mm Bushmaster chain gun, as well as a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. As you can see here, the M Shorad is packed with sensors and can acquire targets within a 360 degree surveillance volume. It has an ASA or Active Electronically Scanned Array Multi Mission Hemispheric Radar, which can track both air and ground threats. It also has IFF and a sophisticated electro-optical infrared tracking system. The M Shorad, just like all versions of the Stryker combat vehicle, is highly mobile, dependable, survivable, and it will eventually replace all of the less capable Avenger systems mounted on legacy Humvee vehicles. Now this system has been in development since around 2018, but it started being fielded in late 2021, so this is a very new system. Now I know, the US Tech Tree just got the LAVAD, which looks to be pretty capable, although I haven't really tried it out yet. We already have the M247 Sergeant York and the XM975, and of course we have the Almighty ADATS. So right now, the M Shurad is probably not needed. Still though, as we brace for the introduction of 4th generation fighters that have improved standoff capability, likewise the capability of SPAAs needs to go up. Now this is still just a short range air defense system. Um, the Stinger missiles have a limited range. They only go out to about four kilometers or so, but the Longbow Hellfire can reach out and touch enemy helicopters, for instance, up to 11 kilometers away. So it is still a little limited. It's not OP. I think it would just be very capable. The Longbows really are just for helicopters and ground targets. And we all know the capability of the Stingers isn't really that great. However, the sophisticated multi-mission radar should open up new opportunities in the game for vehicles in the SPAA class. The best thing about the M-Shorad and War Thunder will be its dual-use capabilities. The Longbow Hellfire missiles will be able to engage ground targets, so player utility should be pretty high with this vehicle. But what do you think? Should this be in the game, or is it too modern for War Thunder? Also, if you like this format, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in a future video. Thanks.